Tarawih Truffles. Boiling water. Okay, if you were to take a pot of boiling water, hopefully not with your bare hands like this, but if you were to take a pot of boiling water and you were to put in a carrot, what would happen to the carrot? It would soften. Okay, so you think that boiling water softens everything. You go around boiling water, boiling water, while it softens the carrot. But if you were to take that same pot of boiling water and put an egg into it, would it soften the egg? No, you say. It would harden the egg, okay? So the same boiling water that softens the carrot hardens the egg, meaning that you need to know your audience. Let's take a look at this verse today. فَبِمَا رَحْمَةٍ مِّنَ اللَّهِ لِنْتَ لَهُمْ وَلَوْ كُنْتَ فَضًّا غَلِيظَ الْقَلْبِ لَمْ فَضُّوا مِنْ حَوْلِكَ فَاعْفُ عَنْهُمْ وَاسْتَغْفِرْ لَهُمْ وَشَاوِرْهُمْ فِي الْأَمْرِ فَإِذَا عَزَمْتَ فَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَى اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ يُحِبُّ الْمُتَوَكِّلِينَ in this verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is recalling the moment in the Battle of Uhud when the Prophet sallallahu took the consultation from his companions and even though he wanted to fight inside the city, the Prophet sallallahu followed their consultation and went out to the plains of Uhud. Check this out. If we were with a group of people and we did consultation with people and they chose the wrong thing but we went with it anyway and then things didn't turn out, what would we do? We would get angry at them. We would say, I told you so. We would keep doing things like that but that's not how the Prophet ﷺ reacted. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that it's out of Allah's mercy that the Prophet ﷺ treated them gently and if he was harsh, or hard-hearted with them, they would have left him and they would have dispersed from amongst him. So the lesson that we learned today as followers of Prophet Muhammad wasallam is that us too, when we're teaching the youth or we're speaking to elders or we're speaking to people in this class of society or people in that area of society, our speech can't just be boiling water everywhere we go. We need to understand our audience and we need to speak accordingly. Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu gave an amazing statement in this regard. Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu said, Haddithu nasa bima ya'rifun. Speak to people about things that they understand. Wada'u ma yunkirun. And leave aside things that they don't understand. And let me just give you a personal example. If I'm going to give a speech, and you know, they tell me that the audience is going to be adults. And then when I arrive at the location, all of a sudden there's like a Quran school of little children that are brought out of the school and they're like, here's your audience. You would understand that the speech can't be the same. I can't speak um, to children the way that I would speak to adults. The speech has to change. And so therefore, as well in your life, you have to change up your speech depending on who your audience is. Another beautiful point about this ayah is that it speaks of the virtues of the companions عنهم. See, not everybody, if you treat them harshly, will go away from you. People who have low self-esteem, people are just like, um, you know, there's issues with them. If you treat them really harshly, that they will stay and they will obey. So for example, Fir'aun, his people, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, he lied to them, he treated them harshly, but they listened to Fir'aun, and that was at the time of Musa. So this verse shows that the companions radiallahu anhum were people of honor. People who, if somebody treated them badly, they wouldn't stand for that and they would move away. And so you see the nobility and the power of the companions radiallahu ta'ala anhum. Even in the same family, right? You have brothers and sisters, or you might have, you know, your siblings, older and younger. If you look at it from the parents' perspective, that 
the advice that you give to one child in a certain way or the way you speak to them doesn't necessarily work with his brother or with his sister and so on. So if that's even in one family, then what about the whole community and the people that you deal with? The bottom line is this, be wise in your speech and be merciful with people and forgive them.